Welcome back to Talking Fitchburg. Today I have with me from the Fitchburg Fire Department, Adam Dorn is in today. Thank uh, you, Welcome Andrew. back. Absolutely. Uh, we haven't had John for a little bit, but um, we're, we're bringing in for a special occasion coming up this weekend. Absolutely. Which is um, Daylight Savings Time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Savings. Oh, yeah. What Get is it? Get an extra hour of sleep. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So great. it's fall, so fall back on Sunday night. Yes. Or sa Saturday, you know, night Saturday into Sunday. Sunday, whatever yeah, time. You know, it's like 2 a.m. or something yeah. like that on Sunday. Um, but there's something fire departments always bring up when we change our clocks. Yes. Which is checking our smoke, smoke alarms. Detectors. Yes. Smoke checking detectors. the smoke detectors. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, it's a great time of the year to do it. Great. Um, why do you ask? Great question. Um, <laughs> yes, why? <laughs> why? Please why? tell me. Um, we, want, we, we recommend that people check them at this time of the year because it's something that you remember to do because you have to change your clocks. Right. When you change your clocks, you change the batteries and your smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. It's an easy thing to remember. It is. Um, some people question me, well, why, why do we do it you know, at the daylight savings time because we're not six months apart now? And I said, well, it still doesn't matter. The, the, ma the most important point is that we have a working battery in each smoke detector. Um, right. And I was looking at some stuff uh, from the National Fire uh, Protection Association. Okay. And they said three out of every five fire deaths result in a fire in properties without working smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. um, I know in That's Fitchburg huge. we've we've had some of those. Um, we haven't had fire deaths here like that, right. but we've been to places where the smoke detectors haven't been working, mm -hmm. and if they were, people could have gotten out a little bit sooner. Right. Um, so that's huge. And almost 38% of home fire deaths result from fires in which no smoke alarms are even present. There's none, in the, none even in the home. Wow. That's How is that even <laughs> possible? It has to be an, old, an older residence at that point? It's either an older residence or it's a newer residence, and the occupants have taken them out. This so seems very interesting to me that you would take out your smoke alarms right. in your but house. But a lot of people don't understand just yet that you can hush your smoke detector, most of the new ones, because they continue to go off as you cook and they get frustrated with them, so they take them down and they throw them out. Right. You're actually hurting yourself by doing that. Oh, well, yeah. And you're putting yourself at much more risk. Uh, uh, the of risk of dying in a home fire is cut in half in homes where there are working smoke alarms. That makes so a lot of it sense. It is so important to have smoke alarms in your home, number one. Number two, make sure they're working. Mm -hmm. So. And if, and if you're cooking and it keeps going off, well then try something different. <laughs> Maybe go it, out to eat or something. It could like, be that, but it also could be the location of that smoke. Oh, detector. right. If it's right above, right. it might just be sensitive to right. any type of any smoke, not exactly. necessarily because you burnt your food, right? but just from anything going yep. off. So, you know, if it continues to go off and you're not really sure what you could do, give us a call. We'd be happy to come out and help. Take a look at your home, figure mm -hmm. out where we can put smoke detectors mm -hmm. so that they are the best yeah. position for your Because you can home. relocate them. You can. Because, well, I mean, they are hardwired ones these days, but right. you just have a battery-operated one and relocate it. Exactly. And you're, and you're good to go. Yep. So, um, yeah. There you go. I like it. Yeah, it's really short, simple, to the point. Right? It is very short and simple, to the point. Every time we hit daylight savings, either going forward or back, spring or fall, change batteries. That way you always know you got a good fresh batteries in there and they're going to go off when you need them. Yep. You know, one and thing I just thought of yes. is everybody asks, where do we put smoke detectors in our homes? Okay. That's a good question. It is. I'm glad you asked that. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you want a smoke detector in every bedroom of your home. You want a smoke detector outside of every sleeping area of your home and on every floor of your home. Okay. So... What does it all mean? <laughs> right. So you want one in your basement. Right. You want one on the main floor. Yep. And if you have a second floor, you want one up, up there. Up there. Yep. Now, if you have sleeping areas on the first floor and the second floor, you put a smoke detector outside of each sleeping area. Okay. And in the basement. Okay. Now, is there a rule about should you have it outside or inside the bedroom? Or best just case, buy it? Yeah. Best case scenario, you have some in each bedroom. Okay. And outside. Okay. Right. If you have an older home, at the very least, put it outside of the bedroom because so you, you need to sleep with your doors closed because 
Um, the National Fire Sprinkler Association did some tests recently that in a home that's about 2,000 square feet, mm -hmm. um, the house became untenable, which means no one could survive in the home within four minutes of the fire starting with modern furniture in the house. Yeah, with the plastic. With the every, door closed yeah. to the bedrooms, okay. they gained another six to eight minutes of being wow. able to survive. So it's That's big. huge. That's huge. Because for us to get to your home, it's an average here in Fitchburg for about five minutes. I said there's, even if you're, you know, full-time fire departments that are at their station, four minutes, that's really fast. Yeah. Like, if that's all you got, and if you're talking volunteer, I volunteer in Cambridge, I'm not even out of my bed into my house if it's middle of the night in four minutes. Right. Like, to get to the fire truck to come to your house right. then. So it's, yeah. So that's huge. Have, shut the doors yes. in your living area or Absolutely. in your bedrooms. Absolutely. Sleep with the doors closed. Make sure your smoke alarms are working. Test them monthly. And uh, if you have questions, give us a call. We'd be happy to come out and take a look and see what we can do to help you. Right. Well, Adam, thanks again for stopping by with Absolutely. some good safety tips for this weekend. And um, be sure to do this. Get out there, change your batteries, go through, make sure all of them are working. You might be surprised. Test it before you change it. You might be surprised if it was even working to begin right. with. If they're so. older than 10 years, they should be replaced. Yep, so 10 years, that's, that's another good thing. You can go back. We had a later, an earlier talk this year with Adam about that. You can check that out on our YouTube page if you have any more questions on okay. how to know how old it is. Yep. All right, well, thanks, Adam, for stopping by. Thank you. And we will see you after this break. It's Talking Fishburg.